Hey guys, I'm Mike Specian, and I'm here to talk to you today about the concept of integrals. Now when I teach my college students, one of the first questions I ask them is, what's an integral? And one of the most common answers I receive is, it's the area under a curve. Well that can be true, but it doesn't get to the heart of what an integral actually is or does. An integral is the sum of an infinite number of infinitesimally small elements. To see an example of what this means, consider this line of length 4 that I've drawn. I've divided it into an infinite number of tiny little infinitesimal lengths, which I've labeled dx. Now if I were to integrate or sum all of these dx's, all of these little lengths together, I would recover the total length of the line, or 4. Now notice, in this example, the integral has absolutely nothing to do with the area under a curve. So how is it that we can interpret the area under a curve in terms of an integral? Well, to see how, consider the function that I've drawn admittedly poorly here in green, f of x equals x squared plus 1. And suppose we want to know what the area under this curve is between 0 and 3. Now as before, I've divided this x-axis into an infinite number of little lengths, dx. Let's consider what's happening at x equals 1. The value of the function here is 1 squared plus 1, or 2. So if I were to multiply the width, dx, times the height, f of x, I end up getting an infinitesimally small area. I can label this area dA and find that it's equal to the height times the width of that little rectangle. Now I can break the rest of the area under the curve into an infinite number of little rectangles, therefore making the total area, A, under the curve, equal to the integral or sum of all the little da's, or the sum of the function times the little widths. Now for you completionists out there, that integral works out to be one-third x cubed plus x, which, if evaluated between 3 and 0, gives you a value of 12. All right, and that's what we got for integrals. There's a lot more to say about that, but we'll have to save that for another video. If you have any comments, questions, or want to know more about my teaching services, check out the link below. And as always, thanks for watching.